Hey everybody, Dan Urbino here with WP Central and today I want to show you the LG Quantum specifically an app on there called Voice to Text made by Nuance Dragon. They're the ones that actually do the um, work behind the scenes as opposed to Microsoft's Tell Me service. The app is actually pretty solid and kind of jealous it's not on more Windows phones because it's a pretty killer feature. Um, one thing that bothers me is when it loads it quickly checks your Twitter feed and so it actually prevents you from using it for a few seconds. It's not too bad, but it's kind of annoying. I'll show you what I mean later. But here's the main page. You have Twitter integration, uh, messaging, email, memo, and settings, which are pretty basic. It's your Twitter and an auto listening. And that's basically that, and that's how you interact with it. You have a Twitter feed here. Um, actually, Twitter's crashing on this now. I'll show you later. But when I launch and tap one of these messages, it'll actually crash. And here are your memos. So you go back here to, like, say, um, if you want to leave a, a tweet or a message, you just, you know, hit the button. Now it's listening. This is a test. I'm trying to leave a message. Let's see how well this works. And it went to landscape. And it actually was pretty accurate, considering I'm not speaking right at the microphone. I'm a little bit of a distance here. I'll zoom in a little bit there. But, I mean, overall, the accuracy is extremely high. That is over 3G. I'm not using this over Wi-Fi. And it goes to show you, you know, real-life uh, instances, how quick it, uh, it can go. Let me switch the screen here a bit. Now, when you're done, you, just, you can either re-record and add more to it, or you hit check. And it's actually posting it, which, now it'll show up on my Twitter stream, which I probably shouldn't have done, but anyways, um, and you can do that anything for messaging, same thing. Remember to go to the grocery store and pick up some food. Remember to go to the grocery store and pick up some food. Well, that was close. I mumble a little bit, and it's still early in the morning, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, once again, hit the check mark fills it in for you. Still need to, you know, type in your address of uh, the person you want to send it to. But overall, I can see, you know, I know you're not supposed to use this stuff while driving, but it would be actually uh, very good for driving. Uh, email is the same thing. Memo is actually really nice here. If I can get it to launch. Remember to go to the dentist later today. And actually, that was 100% accurate. And then we just hit save. Now what it does is it actually keeps your memos right here. And you can just bring them up again very quickly. So it's a great way of just saving information on the go. Uh, I'm very impressed with this. It actually works very well. I wish all Windows phones had this built in, actually, because it's extremely useful. And it's very accurate. So unfortunately, it's only available on LG devices. Um, it does have some work left. Like I said, here's my tweet. Oh, now it's not crashing anymore. But so it brings up your tweet there, and then you have a retweet and a respond. Very basic, but, you know, it's not too bad for a basic Twitter app. So there you go. Um, good work, LG. It's actually a pretty killer feature of this phone. It's actually more killer than the actual keyboard itself. So there you go. Take care, everybody.